what's up guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in i'm super stoked to be filming this because i have been collecting these shorts from amazon in my closet and i have not tried them on i have not opened them until now where i can actually do it in front of you and give you my first impressions and my honest feedback all of these are under 23 dollars so ball it on a budget you know what i'm saying they are different styles as well i have biker shorts i have seamless and i even included some loungy type that you could wear as like an outfit doing casual runs make it you know nice and bougie if you want to like go that route or something but before we get started i just wanted to say thank you so much for showing so much support and love on my last amazon affordable legging try on haul that is a mouthful i will link it up there if you haven't had a chance to watch it and down in the description as well if you want to check that out after this video and if you are new to my channel be sure to subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel for more content like this um give this video a thumbs up of course if you liked it and comment down below which of these shorts you liked most or would like to see more of. That way I have a better idea of what you guys like and I can continue to create content like this. All the links for these shorts are gonna be listed in the description box below so you can shop through those links. It does help my channel out. They are affiliate Amazon links so it does support me. That way I can go ahead and reinvest that and make more videos like these. All right guys, without further ado, let's put on some of these shorts. All right guys, so the first pair of shorts are these biker shorts. This is kind of what triggered this video. I seen these, I came across them on Amazon and I was like, maybe I should like buy more of these because these are super cute. However, finding biker shorts on Amazon was a little bit of a challenge, at least for the style of shorts that I like. Um, and these really caught my attention. They are $17.99. I got them in a size extra small, and the size ranges do range from extra small to extra, extra large. And I'm looking down there because I wrote this all down beforehand so I wouldn't have to look through my phone. And right off the, you know, something that I'm really noticing is this like seam that's going like kind of like a heart shape or V, v tapering down into the booty. That's something that I'm noticing and I really like that. So hopefully it's nice and flattering. It does have a seam at the top of the waistband. I see like towards the back, there's like a little pocket there, which is pretty cool. For me, I think that would be awesome because I can just grab my phone and like tuck it in there. I mean, it will stick out, but maybe I can maneuver it somehow in there. I probably wouldn't do that. I always just do this with my phone, so yeah. Also, check out this freaking cute phone case. I will link it down below in case you guys are interested. This is like the vibe that I am living for. This print is called Green Leopard. They do have other options as well other prints that look really fun so if these are good to go i will definitely be purchasing more of these I'm not sure if i mentioned these but they are 17.99 and these were rated amazon's choice so they better be good okay guys so these are the first pair i just need to say that the moment i put them on they just felt so buttery and soft and i thought that the waistband up here was gonna bother me but honestly i don't even mind it i love how like the length on these are because i do have a peloton and i hate like when my legs just rub against the seat so having this extra bit of fabric is definitely gonna help to avoid any friction if you know what i mean and uh, i am just obsessed these are definitely gonna be a keeper. Whoa, whoa, like what? Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they have other prints as well, so other options there, and they were pretty affordable, so I'm definitely going to keep these, as I mentioned, and I love them with the white. By the way, I also got these on Amazon. They are Adidas Falcons and guess for how much I got them guys. Guess for how much? 
$50. Like what? $50? I'm also gonna link that down in the description because one of my teammates got them and she loves them. They feel so like cushiony and like not a shoe for running because you want something of a, maybe Nike would be better for running as far as like a flatter surface, but these are definitely functional for the gym. I have worked out of them. I don't run, so that's not a problem for me. And they are a nice casual shoe. And with this outfit, it just looks super bomb. This is also from Amazon, by the way, that I mentioned in my last video. I'm not wearing the cups. I actually got over that and I realized I don't even, I'm, when I'm at the gym, I always wear a shirt over, so I'm not worried about a little nip popping, you know what I mean? Nobody's gonna see that, um, the shape of it. So yeah, I love this. I'm keeping them for show. Oh wait, for show, yes. All right, so the next shorts, kind of following in with the green theme, although these are blue to me. You tell me, and even in the Amazon photo, they look blue, but they describe this color as green, so <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Green, blue, whatever you want to call it. This is the back. I thought this was really cute and flattering or looked flattering, just like the contouring. I am a little bit worried. These are a size small. They only range from size small to large, so not a wide variety of size ranges there. They are only $15.99, but something that is I don't know about these yet. We'll have to try them on to see is the waistband. It does not taper in, so I feel like these are the type of shorts that I might just have to like roll down if I really like how they look on me. But mm, we shall have to wait and see what this looks like on because it just seems like a little bit too wide of a waistband. It does feel nice and like tight, but I really don't know how that's gonna work. So we shall see. These are by the brand QOQ. I mean, they were only $15.99, so I mean, whatever. But the fabric is definitely like that Gymshark-y kind of feel, seamless feel. Um, they almost feel like my Fabletics seamless that are a little bit more thinner than Gymshark. If you guys are familiar with Fabletics, you know, we'll have to see. I do like that it has like even the contouring down the sides. And uh, without further ado, let's try these on. All right, so here they are. Um, I do like them. I just, as I suspected, the waistband is just a big no. Like, look at that. Like, I can pit, fit my whole hand there. Even if I tried rolling it down, I still have some gapping back here. There is no front seam, but I know that you guys can see a little bit of that. And if you don't mind that, that's fine. Oh my gosh. I don't know about this. I don't like that. It kind of looks like, oh, here, like I'm wearing a thong over these shorts, if that makes sense. It really does. I don't know. I mean, are they squat proof? I think they're definitely squat proof from this angle. So if this is something that you may be interested in, cool, but for me, these are definitely a no. I'm gonna have to return them. I just, don't like all this extra fabric here and especially not back here. If it didn't have gapping back here and just a little extra fabric here, I wouldn't mind that. Um, but the fact that it's like all back here, I just can't, I can't suffice keeping them. So these are gonna have to go. The next pair of seamless kind of uh, shorts are these bad boys. They are by the brand Sutaya, T-S-U-T-A-Y-A, Sutaya. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Don't come for me. Um, same kind of fabric feel that as the last ones I just showed. Thinner, but like, like they would be moisture wicking, if that makes any sense. 
I got a size small and again these don't range in a wide selection of sizes only small through large $15.99 as well I feel like honestly they're probably whoa hold on they're probably made by the same people they're just like a different Amazon seller naming it something else and <laughs> Ah, uh, I guessed right. Look at the tag from this one. Okay, and then here, all right. They're literally made probably by the same manufacturer. So don't be fooled by the Amazon sellers on Amazon, I guess. However, let me take that back. I don't know. Maybe some people try to perfect their products and actually listen to the Amazon reviews, but these seem like they're exactly the same. $15.99 as well. They call this color Gym Purple. Waistband seems like I might have the same issue as far as like it being too wide, but we will have to see. Additionally, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like very slight contouring. So nothing that is too prominent like the last ones. A little bit more conservative of a contour, if you will. So I actually really appreciate that. So it's not like, boom, in your face. There's your booty. Look at it, you know? Especially if you're like in the gym and you don't necessarily want people to just to your butt, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This might be a little bit better, um, just cause it still adds a nice little contour, so you nice feel nice and confident, but it's not like screaming like, hey, come, I welcome your eyeballs to my glutes. So yeah, mm, let's try them on. Guys, I kinda have to like turn up the saturation just so you guys can see a better glimpse into this color. Um, I don't know what the hell this is because they're clearly made by the same manufacturer but like there's just so much fabric right here that I'm just like what the heck maybe if they widened up their size range to include extra small and larger sizes maybe this would be a winner um, so if this is something that you'd be interested in size down because I'm also experiencing <laughs> what the heck that effect is crazy like what that's just not okay like not okay y'all need to taper in these waistbands you know what I'm saying like what is up Amazon like there's good and there's bad it's not Amazon's fault it's the manufacturer or the Amazon FBA that like makes them they need to listen to those reviews guys I mean I didn't read the reviews just to be like completely unbiased um but yeah this is just a no nope although the contouring on this is way better than the other ones because it's nice and like you can't tell like you can tell but it's not like all up in your face it don't look like like i'm wearing a thong <laughs> you know what i'm saying like if it's squat proof definitely looks squat proof I like that they're not like super constricting, which is nice, but again, these are not, these are not the ones for me, unfortunately, sadly. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just weird. There's just too much fabric. I don't get like crazy camel toe because it actually has like a baby seam right here, if you guys can see that, but the other ones are clearly giving me camel toe, so I don't know. So yeah. These are those. Time to move on to the comfy ones. Yes! Okay, now these are the shorts that I'm really excited to try. The more loose, comfort, kind of like jogger feel, but you know, meant to be like lounging around. And you can totally work out in these if you wanted to. I personally would, just saying, with like this sports bra will look really cute. And you'll see that when I try it on. I don't know, I think it's gonna be cute. <laughs> but I have been searching so much for shorts like these. I've seen other YouTubers style shorts like these even on Instagram, but they're all, you know, they buy them from sites like Misguided maybe, Revolve, all that stuff. But although I would totally purchase from them, 
I don't feel like waiting for shipping, although these have been collecting dust in my closet probably because I have had them for a few weeks. So maybe I should have just done that, but I love the ease of Amazon just doing two day shipping and it's, you know, I can easily return it if it does not fit. And that is something that I really like. These are by the brand called Tangu. They're labeled as Amazon's Choice. I got them in a size small. This is the color light gray and their size ranges from small to extra, extra large. They're only $18.88, so pretty affordable. I love this color. I feel like it would look really cute with some chunky white shoes, um, maybe some ankle high, even just a little bit higher type of like crew socks to kind of pair up with it. And maybe even a nice loose, like, you know, oversized sweater, I think would look super cute. And I am so excited to try these on. It does have like a little bit of a detail. They're pretty plasticky, but I mean, it's nice. I love the white drawstring and the fact that it has a nice, detail as they are folded over by the seam. I really enjoy this look. I actually have some shorts like these by H&M that do roll up like that, but they're super short. Like I cannot wear them out at all. And I'm excited that I could potentially wear these out if they work. So let's try them on. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize that this had pockets, but it does. And Wow, these feel so comfy. I'm just like, <laughs> I love, and look at the length, like my butt cheek is up here. So I have a nice little like give right there. They're not like constricting at all, which is nice. Um, yeah, I like, Wow, I am pleasantly surprised. I mean, I had a feeling they'd be good just by the feel of them, but who would have thought that these would be like bomb.com? You know what I mean? Wow, I am living for these. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's just light heathering that just feels so nice. Nice thick waistband. You can certainly tighten it if you really wanted to, but wow, I approve. Definitely, definitely keeping these. Wow, obsessed. Yes. And last but certainly not least, I am excited because these are another pair of loungy shorts, a little bit longer as well. These have pockets in the front, two pockets in the front, and then one back pocket there. These are by the brand Bayleaf, Bayleaf, I don't know how to pronounce that. They are rated Amazon's number one bestseller. So another one, high hopes for this one. I got them in a size extra small and the size ranges is pretty wide, extra small to 3XL. So a pretty decent size range there, especially if you want something that's a little bit looser or more oversized. Um, and these are $22.99. So the most expensive item in this haul, but again, like everything is under $23. So for $22.99, you cannot beat that. And these are in the color light gray. They're a little bit thinner of a material than the other shorts. Yeah, I'm like feeling them out. A little bit thinner, but still nice and like lightweight where I feel like you're not gonna be suffocating, like it's not gonna be hot in the summer. You can actually wear these. They feel like they would be nice and airy and let air through. Sometimes we need a little air down there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just felt like the TikTok that goes like, <laughs> don't be suspicious, no, my you know what I'm saying? Or not, okay. Wow, guys, I am melting trying on all of these shorts, but okay, what? These feel 
Like compared to the ones I just tried on, these feel more performance based. I don't know what it is. Like the other ones just feel loungy, like you're casually gonna go like somewhere running errands or whatever. But these, like you can definitely work out in them. I don't know what it is. Like maybe it's just like extra spandexy. They're like stretchy. So they hug a little bit more of my thigh, but they're stretchy, if that makes any sense at all. So, nice little cute back pocket. Boom. Drawstring, I actually tied this ones before I tried them on. I mean, they look, they like really make the butt look even bigger. My trainer is calling me. So the verdict, I really like these. They're super, super cute. I love the length on them. I feel like I could still do like my Peloton. <laughs> my Peloton riding in these because they're nice and loose um, and they have a nice little length so I'm not gonna be having like too much friction. Could totally work out in these if I wanna do more of a casual like workout or just be able to have nice little stretch onto my bottoms. Yeah, like what? I actually don't even mind that. There's like slight gapping right there, but I just have to tighten it up with the drawstring. So I actually don't even mind that at all. That's not even a lot compared to what usually happens with what you already saw. Wow, what a successful haul. Now I would definitely say that this was a successful haul compared to my last one. Well, actually, I think I only tried four items then and I kept 50% of the items, so two out of the four. And I'm keeping three out of the five that I tried on today. So these, whoa, <laughs> these biker shorts, these really comfy, loungy ones, and these ones. I'm keeping them on to be honest because they're super comfortable. I am obsessed and I love them. So if you guys enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which of these items you thought you liked most or might be considering in buying or even what type of items you want to see next for me to review from Amazon or even other websites, whatever. Totally let me know down in the comments. I love making these types of videos and yeah, I am all for it. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already subscribed and turn on those notification bells to be notified on the next time that I upload because I love making these types of videos and trust me, there is another one coming. I went to Forever 21 and I bought some stuff. You know, like bougie on a budget stuff. So I think I'm gonna post that next. So be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when I do upload every week. Typically Wednesdays, but sometimes it's Thursdays, but we're getting there. All right guys, I love you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh.